Hello everyone, I hope you're all feeling well. I'm Jessie from This Lipus Life. I have systemic lupus erythematosus and lupus cerebritis. Yeah, so I have been manic busy for the last few weeks and I've been really secretive about it. And I'm not going to reveal my secrets yet. Um, but I want to talk a bit about burning the candle at both ends. <sighs> because us people with lupus, we seem to do that. Um, and the problem is, is that it's not so much that we are burning the candle at both ends. It's that we're just trying to do the normal stuff. You know, we're trying to do one thing and another thing, add something else in, and all of a sudden we are wiped out like you have been dunked by the biggest wave at the beach um yeah so for example um when i studied i studied um since i stopped studying i haven't been able to find a proper full-time consistent job as such so I've been volunteering um, now typically when you volunteer somewhere it's normally three to six hours a week um, or less say six hours a fortnight nine hours a month um, I've done all kinds of variations of that um, but what I found is that you shouldn't really do more than one volunteer role at a, at a time um, because the exhaustion of mixing the two together as well as the exhaustion of doing one, it just gets in the way. Um, so me being who I am and doing things how I like to do them I wasn't happy just doing one thing. I was volunteering for f three hours Wednesday afternoons at the Museum of WA or through that organisation. I picked up three three hour shifts a month with SciTech or the Science Museum of Western Australia. Um, and then I also picked up between three and five hours a week with an organisation that collects waste, made waste from all different industries, breaks it down into usable, usable spare parts, processes it and presents it in a way that organisations can collect this waste to reuse. So... Um, individual artists that either work for themselves or contract to different companies they will come and collect our stuff um building industry that will leave some offcuts like um polypipe um cabling things that are safe to reuse um, we collect waste from um leftover stuff from organisations that go into receivership or just close for whatever reason. Um, and then, say, teachers from primary school, the primary school will have an account with us, they'll be members, and then the teachers will come and collect some of our things and take them back so the class can use them in their art projects. Or the shire or city council of dot 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 will come and collect it because they're having a sculptures display or a festive evening on the green or um, a folk festival or something. Um, I think there are some festivals that even take um, what we call facilitators from our organisation. They're um, people that are trained in education 
and trained in the philosophy that we work under, which is the Reggio Emilia philosophy and approach. So they'll take that away and then they create the workshop so that people can participate. So, yeah, I've been with that company um, and in that organisation I pro process materials. So they, co they come to us, I pull them apart, lay them out awesome and then people come and collect them. Um, it's nice to see some of the ways that we have being used for something else and just filling landfill. <sighs> yes, so um, whilst volunteering at these organisations, one of them I have managed to find a few hours a week of paid work as well. So I go in sometimes for volunteer, sometimes for work, that's cool. Um, and two of them I am no longer at because I have moved to to other posi positions, organisations helping transition people from with intellectual or physical disabilities into their local neighbourhoods. So to help them become more social and have confidence in their socialising and interacting in their communities. So I'll do a bit of that now. Um, and for the finance side of things, I've had to pick up a few casual jobs. Um, so a few hours a week here or there, just doing other things. Um, yeah. And on top of that, I've been doing some, some writing, some family things. I have a whole lot of craft projects that I've started over five years ago that I haven't had time to do because I was studying or sick or both or they were tucked away somewhere. And as I dig them out and complete them, more show up. So I've been doing that too. That's interesting. Yeah, so this is how I burn the candle at both ends. Multiple casual paid work, multiple casual volunteer work, socialising um, and mini projects. Yeah. Um, I have found an avenue that I am investigating further. It's an opportunity that I had never realised existed. And then I did realise it and then thought, oh, it's too good to be true. Um, but I, I went with it and it turns out it's not too good to be true. Um, I'm, I could actually get there. Yeah. So, all the times that the universe has trodden on me may have been in a position to make to make it up to me. If that makes sense. So, you no, know, I've been in the shit, and now it's going to say sorry. Maybe. That'd be nice. Yeah. I'm just tired. <sighs> yeah. So I've been burning the candle at both ends. If anyone else had a job and a family and, like, say, a sporting interest, well, that'd be fine. And I'm putting in a lot less hours and a lot less energy than that. But I have lupus. So it's not. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, fingers crossed that all of this 
is working towards something big and bright and beautiful. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm off now. Bye.